Hello, everybody. Here we are. Let's see who's watching. If you're out there, go ahead and let me know. Tell me where you're watching from. And it's a beautiful, well, actually, Kansas City has had a little rough weather. It's a little humid here. We missed the strawberry moon last night because it was cloudy. I don't know if you saw the strawberry moon, um, but it was a super moon and it was the last super moon of 2021. So, and we've got some people on, tell me where you're watching from. And I'm going to get started talking about our workshops today. So we are going to, I'm going to show you some treasures, um, some ideas for upcycling. We have three different topics today. We have pearl button, gingham, and bandana. And as you can see, I'm wearing some things related to both um, the bandana and the pearl button. And I have a whole bunch of textile treasures to share with you, things that we've upcycled. And there's Nancy. Thank you, Nancy, for being the first one to comment. I'm watching from Austin, Texas. Awesome. Welcome. And we have had a busy couple weeks here. We, um, maybe some of our People watching or tuning in that um, met me at the Quilt Festival in Kansas City that happened last weekend. Hello, everybody. Keep waving, saying hello, telling me where you're watching from. There's Paula from New York, upstate New York. Great. And I've got Michelle helping me here. She got to join me at the show, too. And we met so many nice people shared a display of the Vintage Modern Maker uh, workshops that we're going to talk about today. And uh, these workshops were part of, originally part of the, the membership program that we have. And um, since we were doing a show, a live in-person quilt show, I decided this would be the perfect time to share the sewing project, share the all the content that comes in these workshops, these online workshops. And there's Dawn from Washington. Thanks, Dawn. Good to see you. All right. Well, I think we've got a good group on, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And there's hello from Tennessee and welcome. Let's see. Kira. Hi, Kira. Welcome. Thanks for hopping on for the, the live today to talk about, again, three workshops. Uh, and these workshops, you know, they all have a sewing project in them. And many of them have actually a couple sewing projects, but they're much more than just the sewing project. They're really about inspiration, the learning the history of handmade, uh, what these textiles, um, you know, were were used for and how they were, you know, originally created, whether it be, um, you know, talking about the gingham and how the gingham was originally not the checked gingham that we think of gingham today and the story of the pearl button in Muscatine, Iowa and all through the Midwest. There's just such a rich history in the legacy of sewing and quilting and handmade. And my passion is collecting, curating and sharing really amazing treasures that um, will inspire you in your own creativity and open up new ideas for projects, um, for decorating your home, for fashion that you wear, just a variety. So let's get started. And there's Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Good to see you. And Michelle. Good to thank you guys. And there's Mary watching from Georgia. And everybody knows Mary. Mary Meyer is one of the wonderful people that helped me create this content, along with Donna. 
And um, Robin, I have a great team who helps me with that, all this. And so now it's time to, to share some things. Um, so I'm going to take you through the pearl button and then we'll go to gingham and then we'll go to bandana. How does that sound? All right. So pearl button sewing project um, is was a pouch and this is the pouch. Maybe you have seen it on um, me sharing it. The fun thing about this pouch is we also included instructions for making this little tassel. Um, you can see that tassel with the smoky pearl. And keep in mind, you know, these projects, the instructions are there for you. Then you get videos too. So you get PDF instructions and videos. And you can take the project that we share and you can, you can use a variety of textiles. And that's what I like to do is inspire you to be able to go beyond um, maybe the initial fabric choice that we made and find other alternatives. So this is an example of where we used a pre-cut charm pack, tiny charms. And isn't this a great modern look? So, and then this is even another version where, where we did a whole cloth. So it's a simpler version. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple more of newer things for all of you who've maybe have seen some of these projects. Mary did this uh, gingham version of the pearl button pouch. Isn't it fun? It has rickrack on it. And there you again, you can see the pearl button tassel that we created. Um, so this is an example of many times the different um, workshops kind of, we can use the same pattern and use a different textile and they can relate to each other. And that was really exciting when, when I realized how much benefit there would be to going beyond the initial fabric choice and, and finding more of the vintage textiles or even a thrift shop, a visit to the thrift shop, you can find some amazing textiles. Um, so when it comes to history, I want to share with you a new treasure of mine, and it is uh, this card. So this is an amazing collection of pearl, smoky pearl buttons. And I recently went to an estate sale in Kansas City that was super phenomenal. And these button, this was one of the cards that I was able to acquire, and I was so excited. So. Again, you're seeing these treasures from my collection when I do these workshops. And when I find something new, I love to be able to share it here on these lives too. So stay tuned for more. And then when we talk about the workshops, I bring it and bring you new people to meet. So you're going to meet, whether it be a textile expert or maybe a maker or artist. And this is Jenny Allen's work. And again, this is a newer piece of her work that I recently um, purchased at a show. But you can see there this wonderful um, dog and his name or her name is Luna and every button a prayer. So this is um, the wonderful work of Jenny Allen. And I just love her work and the stories that come along with her creative pr projects and um, her wonderful art. So there is, I wanted to share Luna with everybody. And I'm wearing some of the pearl button treasures that I shared in that workshop. The, and I'm wearing a ring that's made with um, elastic Robin made me these earrings the other day, um, just four buttons. So some of the projects, super simple, just giving you ideas that spark your own creative spirit. And I want you to know that it's much more than the sewing project that you're going to receive when you purchase these, these workshops. You're going to get a really great information and grow your knowledge, which in turn grows your appreciation. And, you know, it's a wonderful, um, wonderful to share with people too. More than anything, when I've been learning about these vintage notions and textiles, the joy of sharing it with others is, is a big part of why I am doing this. And 
Um, I, and I'm gonna show you one more thing from the pearl button. We got into even like pin cushion projects. This was a, a design I bought, I believe, from Marilyn Gash, who's here in Kansas City. And these stacked pearl buttons are kind of a fun technique. So we talked about that too. Um, so here's in one more little stacked project. This is a more recent acquisition of mine. And this cuff has, can you see that fun button? Two buttons on it, even some feed sack fabric. Um, so we really have fun with these workshops with both the textile or the notion. So moving on to a textile. Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's having fun watching and thanks for the comments. And Dawn says she likes the dog. Thank you, sweet Luna. And you love the history of the sewing. So yes, if some of you are out there who are members, please share your enjoyment of the courses. Um, on the website, Vintage Modern Makers, you will find testimonials and from, me from members who've enjoyed the courses. And you can look at those on each page at vintagemodernmakers.com when you click on the module for the particular theme. And I will tell you, this brings up the fact you can buy these individual right now, or you can buy all three at a discount of $20. So we'll get into more about that later. I wanna get to show you more of the projects, which is the fun part, right? So there's also, oh, I do wanna grab the primer details, just so you see, the quality of the instructions and photographs that you're going to be receiving with these PDFs. Okay, so several variations that are given. These are all the pages for the pearl button. And then you get a little history lesson about how the pearl buttons were mined out of the clams in the Mississippi. And then people are loving Mary Brooks Pick and, and her philosophy. If you know of my Vintage Notions book, right? It was based on Mary Brooks Pickens essays and lessons and teachings from the Women's Institute. So within these workshops, I continue to share some of her rich, you know, rich inspiration and um, uplifting essays that she wrote back in the day a hundred years ago, but that still are amazingly relevant today. Timeless, timeless ad advice. And then one more thing that you do get in the, in the um, workshops are printables. And this is an example of some of the art that you receive with the pearl button. And I want to show you too, you not only get the a, a graphic with buttons, but we also give you graphics that do not have the buttons. So for instance, if you wanted to make, maybe print it, you could hang earrings on it. If you were making earrings or giving them as a gift, you could also grab your own button stash and do something like this, where we, we added, um, Pearl, we add buttons to the card. So it's a great way to use your collection. So I wanted to touch on that. Now let's get into gingham, okay? And gingham, the gingham project is a this fun little work bag and it's perfect. It's a perfect size for uh, a embroidery hoop and it has a pocket so you can store your scissors or your thread. Um, this, there's a super fun cord that we made out of embroidery floss or, or silky thread. And this is just really a super easy, but really fun project to make. And um, how many of you have seen those chicken scratch gingham aprons that there were thousands of them that were stitched? You'll find them in antique shops and thrift stores. Of course you can buy, you can also run to the thrift store and just buy a gingham shirt to up, upcycle. So, you know, gingham is so popular right now. I love seeing it in fashion in the magazines. So it's just timeless. It's um, and here I wanted to grab um, just recently. This is a newer project that was created um, and we did it for the festival, the show. Here you can see the same. This is the apron that we, Mary did this and she used 
the border on the rickrack right there, I think is just darling. You can see she actually took a pocket and, and um, deconstructed the pocket off the apron and then applied it back onto the little work bag. And again, it has this double drawstring um, that just is super, it's just one of those techniques too that you can use beyond this project. You're gonna learn things in, the, in these courses that tips and techniques that you're gonna use throughout your handmade sewing projects. Uh, so keep that in mind. It really is, um, I think there's a lot of value that you'll be able to um, get from these. And it's a great, we love making gifts for people, right? Um, so the idea that you can make a handmade gift and that you're gonna have the guidance and the inspiration and you know you're going to have really good instructions. You're going to uh, be able to achieve, um, not only be inspired, but actually come away successful making the projects. And this is an example of, in the Gingham Primer, one of the projects um, we have as well that we have little counted um, or cross-stitch patterns that come in the Gingham. And uh, the last one here is probably my favorite. It's the simplest, but it's a great little heart. So the gingham not only has the bag, but also has the patterns that you can make and embroider on any gingham. And it's great for teaching kids. I actually, that heart I just showed you, I taught my niece, um, Reese, uh, how to cross stitch using that pattern. And then in these prime workshops we primer workshops we also give you some bonus material so you'll you'll love this this is a bone one of the bonuses and it's just a super simple um you know, pot holder coaster with a really fun pattern that i found in a vintage children's sewing book and so you know this project was from the book when mother let us make gifts by Mary Grubb. And I think it was like a book dated in the early 20s. And um, so this, this whole you know, project, Vintage Modern Makers, has been a way for me to reach into these amazing archives I've built of both books, magazines, handmade projects, and be able to share them. And I'm I'm as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about sharing them. And so Here's another one. This this is one of those chicken scratch aprons that was in our history lesson for the gingham. And again, um, and then you'll also learn about other techniques that um, I found this pillow that had another embroidery technique related to gingham. Um, and so, you know, if you want to learn more about this technique, purchase the gingham primer and the primer workshop, and you'll be able to um, really expand your knowledge and be inspired in a in a multitude of ways with this content. I, Michelle, should we um, talk about some questions or do we have any comments um, that you'd want me to talk talk through before we head on and I show the the bandana that I'm wearing today? I don't and talk see about that. Any questions yet? But. Um we can probably talk through a few like okay how, how much longer do we have to purchase oh thank you how much longer do we have to purchase that's a very important point you have until monday june 28th at midnight to order these courses my suggestion is if you have if you're interested go ahead and 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 buy today you will not be disappointed and that being said we do have a money gap back guarantee right michelle that so if you you, you purchase them and you're not happy with them you have a week to um you know get your money back so again there i really believe based on the experiences that our membership has had with these courses um and content that you will be happy and really enjoy the content and find find you know creativity a fulfillment maybe you're maybe you know you have these textiles in your collection 
and um, you know you collect buttons and you love um, vintage bandanas, maybe like I do, or you you dream of, you know, how can I incorporate those into my everyday life? Well, that's what I want to help you with. I want to just be your guide through bringing those unique, creative, fun, you know, charming, clever projects, whether you're making gifts or you're making for yourself, I want to help you achieve that and really learn as you create. Um, so let's talk about bandanas because, and I'm going to try something new here um, with the stream yard. I'm going to go ahead and pop over to show you um, some of the band. First of all, show you the bandana topper I'm wearing in um, here. It is with a belt. So keep in mind, you could belt this as well as wear it longer. And here I'm going to show you there's there. I am at the show wearing it and Mary's with me. So you guys can see Mary. Um, the one that I'm wearing there is actually a tablecloth that my mom found and it was square and we could just use the measurements from the bandana PDF to create this. So keep in mind, we could have used a vintage lace tablecloth. We could have just cut fabric to the dimensions of the bandana topper. So again, these projects go far beyond just, um, what you see, we will continue to inspire you with a variety of um, options. And there I am. I figured it out, everybody. Now, <laughs> thanks to Michelle's help too. Now I'm going to talk about a little history with Bandana. Um, so first off, I'll give you a quick peek at our booth because we had an amazing display of Bandana's um, front center. So this was our booth at the quilt festival and you can see that wonderful mannequin and uh hanging around the bottom of that mannequin are all of my vintage bandanas in my collection so through the bandana course i teach you the history of bandanas and show you treasures from my collection and the fun thing that you also get i'm going to click over here and you're going to see th these cool designs these were bandanas that were in Tenny Rocher's booth. She was right next to me at the quilt festival. And she is our textile expert in the bandana workshop. So you learn from the best. And Tenny has been in the business for years. I've known her and she's just an amazing, um, she has amazing knowledge. She has an amazing eye for collecting really amazing treasures. And this one, you can see the little elephant. Well, in the primer or in the primer workshop, we teach you the story of the elephant and his trunk indicates a little uh, information. So if you're interested in learning about that, check out the bandana primer. Again, go to vintagemodernmakers.com. And I'm sure Michelle will put a link in the comments mm -hmm. and thank you. <laughs> and that's where you can go and see re really specific details on each of these workshops. So back to bandana, I want to quickly run through some projects in bandana. You not only get the topper that uh, you see, and I've shown you that I'm wearing here, you also get a really nice, uh, embroidery design to stitch that I here you can see it stitched on denim. So of course, love upcycling denim. It's just a wonderful fabric to work with. And there you can see um, the variation. So again, this is an example example where in the primer, you PDF, you actually get pictures of both these projects and you get the design to stitch. So we're trying to provide you, you know, with all the details to make this ex as accessible as possible. And you also in the bandana uh, primer, you also get two aprons. I'm going to show you, um, you get this shorter apron that of course has a couple pearl buttons on it and it pockets. So it's just a handy, um, handy apron for, um, you know, all sorts of 
just adds pockets to any outfit that you're wearing. Um, and then you also get a longer version that's made with the larger bandana. So we, we create with both the smaller and the larger bandanas in these um, workshops. And, and we also help you find the resources for the, the bandanas too. This is an example of actually a Pendleton bandana that um, we made the topper out of that it just, it turned out it was it's gorgeous. So you'll see that as part of one of the videos. And there's multiple videos that come in these courses or workshops. So, and you can watch them on your own time. So this is an at your own pace workshop that it provides multiple videos and you get PDFs for both the sewing projects and what we call the primer PDF that um, I'll show you here is um, also has like the heirloom art. So this is the art for the bandana primer that you see here. And a lot of times I give you ideas for projects to make with the, the, the art, the heirloom art, including um, printing it on fabric and then uh, embellishing or creating different projects using fabric as well as paper. So again, a little bit of something for everyone in these primer courses. And this is the example of the instructions that you would get for the bandana topper. So there's multiple pages of um, both photo. There's a photo, that's my daughter, Emma, wearing the bandana topper. And you get really clear, concise um, instructions to help you through. There's the, the uh, cute apron I mentioned. So, and there's the embroidery pattern. Just so much. And again, it's at your own pace, videos and PDFs. Um, talking about the crossover, I want to show one quick a um, couple more. This is taking a bandana and applying it to the pearl button pouch. And then again, gingham. So this package we have where you can buy three today through Monday at midnight is $99 for all three courses. You can buy them individual for $39. And I know that was a question that I wanted to just explain. And there were other questions, Michelle. Um, what's another one question that we wanted to make sure that I answered today? Uh, will these be available again in the future? Will they be available again in the future? They are available now and we have not made plans for them to be on sale again um, in the near future. We will we, because we did the show, it was our chance to try selling these um, primers as individual workshops. So now's the time to buy if you're interested. I cannot specifically say when they'll be on sale again. We will have other workshops upcoming on different topics that will be for sale, but this is the time if you're interested to purchase the pearl button, the gingham, or the bandana. And um, we also, once you purchase, you'll also have access to our website is a really nice um, portal for accessing all your content. You can either download it and use your content that way, or you can watch it online at, and logging into the membership platform. Um, and then we also have a little community that we've set up. So if you make projects and you want to share them uh, with other members who've bought a workshop, then you'll get a chance to do that. And that's really fun, been fun to see through our membership. We've seen some really amazing projects made from these instructions and uh, have really enjoyed learning from each other and being inspired by, inspired by each other's creativity. Um, so that's, I don't know, anybody else, if anybody has questions out there, post them in the comments. I'm going to switch back to comments here on my view and see, um, oh, excellent. Nancy said she recently dusted off her serger and started making bandanas out of fabric 
remain remnants how perfect so again you can hopefully these courses and workshops will inspire you to really take a look at what you have in your stash and how can you um you know create with it and and enjoy it make it use it your fabrics your collection maybe you have a family heirloom of an apron from grandma and why not make the pearl button pouch out of that apron and, and share it with family members or or for instance the you know the work bag that we have that's the gingham another way to upcycle an apron or fabric into something that friends and family will treasure we love working with vintage linens too let me say that we've done a lot with embroidered linens that have maybe had a stain or a, a damage this is we give you tons of ideas for that so um excellent and don says i'm looking forward to making these projects thank you don i would love it if you would join us and um utilize these great creative resources that i've i've put together and again if you're thinking about this um now's the time to act before monday and if you haven't signed up for my newsletter um please and you're watching this um maybe on facebook or youtube be sure to sign up for my newsletter at amyberrickman.com because that's where we will send you updates on when we're releasing more of these workshops and we have some exciting projects and ideas and really amazing inspiration to offer so anything else michelle i think we're at our uh at a, okay well again everyone thank you for watching thank you for commenting and a quick side note i am this is my last live for uh about a month i'll be back in august and again i'm taking july to take a little break um maybe head to some cooler weather up in michigan for a few weeks so go see donna she's up north so i have to you know i miss her and um we'll have to do some creative things and you never know maybe i'll pop on and surprise you from in July. But at this point, just please sign up for the newsletter. That's the best way to know when I'm gonna be doing lives, when I'm going to be um, updating blog posts and sharing free images. So much vintage inspiration to share and I want you to be a part of this. So tune in and keep in touch. Thanks so much for everybody watching, everybody who's part of the group. And again, thanks to all the members from Vintage Modern Makers, if you're out there watching too, I appreciate it. We have an exciting month next month, so it's just around the corner. And everybody have a wonderful uh, holiday for the, the 4th of July too. Take care. <laughs>